Okay, what I'm going to do is select a point. Select a point here, and I can see that point there that's highlighted right here. And we're going to move that in. GX. We just need to start bringing these in. We've. I'm kind of bad at. Oops. Yeah, let me get up here. Neglecting sometimes the finer points of this modeling along the way in favor of getting it done. That's just the way I am. Some people smooth as they go. I don't. Okay, as we can see now, we've, except for the top one here, hold on. Okay, ah, screwed that one up. Okay. Alright, now we've got a nice little straight line there. That's how it's supposed to look. Okay, only just a little bit of adjustment here. What I want to do now is show you this Upsurf modifier, kind of give you an idea of what we're going to be doing to make really make this thing look good. So, to activate the Subsurf modifier, what we do is we go down here, add modifier, Subsurf, alright, and, wow, look at that, really more crisply define it. Now as you can see kind of messed our hood up there a little bit and I'm going to enable the mirror modifier so we can see that. Uh, also it kind of highlighted some of our problem areas a little bit more which it does. Now uh, I, what I would like to say about the or about or excuse me the roof here of the car is that I'm going to have to delete this. Uh, I went in and put in a single one single polygon for this and I would I'm gonna have to subdivide that the reason I did that is because I wanted to end the tutorial and I, and, uh, I wanted to just let you see what the car was look, going to be looking like when it came together and so that's why I did that I'm gonna just delete the polygon when we get up there and go ahead and make a new one so is just the way I did things. Okay, now, uh, as we can see here, hold on just a minute, I got a mosquito buzzing me. Get rid of him. Okay, as we can see here, the lines are just a little bit too rounded. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to turn on the polygons from the top view. 
so I can select some polygons and I'm just going to go through here and select all these polygons all along here by right clicking And you can always turn this modifier on, off, delete it, whatever, and go back to your modeling. So it's not a big deal if you make a mistake or you do something that you wish you hadn't. So what I'm going to do now is once I've got these selected, I'm going to hit Shift E. And this gives me the edge modifier. As you can see down here, I've got this little crease thing. So what I'm just going to do is drag this out to 1 and I'm going to cl left click on it. Then I'm going to go back and what it did is it added a little bit of definition to it. Now one thing that let's see here. And as you can see, the car's beginning to look a little better. The subsurface modifier sort of takes out a lot of your mistakes. <laughs> and it looks pretty good if we look at it in this view. So, yeah, we're moving right along. Okay, now, uh, I'm going to leave the rear hatch right now. There is a little bit more tweaking to be done on it but we're going to go to the side so I'm going to kill my subsurface modifier I can always bring it back and I'll show you how to go in and further modify it alright we are pretty much finished with this right here so I'm going to go to the side view now and tab out something happened right here not quite sure what. I think I may have grabbed it and uh, done something I shouldn't have. But let's see. All right, G Z, and bring that up. The top one is okay, I think. Yeah, out here. Let me turn my. I can see a little bit better. Okay, what we need to do is go around and just you know we rough this in. Yeah, okay. Now, since we, if you look here, let's see, I'm